I always started as a wood, wood engraver. That's how I started. And I think that's what attracted the Big Picture Press to the project because wood engraving is a sort of very retro means of illustration. It was used throughout the 19th century to illustrate almost everything, you know. So it fitted in with the slightly retro feel of the books. What we're doing here on the, this is one of the traditional boxwood blocks that we're using for the book. And it's going to be a repeat pattern design, which is going to go on a chapter opener, I think. And this particular one is a, is a fern called Ligodium heterodoxum, sort of trading fern, which would have been around in the time of the dinosaurs. It's meant to work, as, a, as I say, as a repeat pattern, so it'll be that's because of the, as big as the actual book, I guess, eventually, you know, repeated. When you see the size of the books, they're huge. And to actually engrave blocks that size, it would cost you a fortune to buy a block that size, actually. And then to engrave all these, these huge blocks, the size of the, of, the, of the book, would take weeks and weeks and weeks on each one. And of course, the time scale of the illustration in this book was, it was not feasible, you know. Another idea was they, they actually did a sample page when they were sort of testing my pictures of a rhinoceros print I'd done, which was also had a wood engraved feel, but in actual fact that wasn't a wood engraving, that was a large lino cut I'd done for another project, which I'd done in the style of a wood engraving. But because it was lino cut with much broad cut with much broader tools, I did it very big. So the only alternative to do these big things was to do it digitally, which I can do. And the, in a way, the whole process is pretty much the same as it would be doing a, doing a, a wood engraving. So I'll do a sketch. Instead of tracing it, I just scan it into the computer. And then instead of having a block that's been prepared with, with um, grey ink, I'll put a black layer over the sketch, which I'll then make transparent, so it goes, in effect, grey, and we see the drawing underneath, which is, what, is exactly what we would see on the um, boxwood block. I'm kind of cut marks, which is what I would do on the block. I would cut marks like that, you see. So therefore, let's say... Uh, Instead of cutting with a tool, I'm cutting with this. See. What we end up with, in, in, in effect, when I increase the opacity of the thing back to black, is a black um, image with all the, all the marks cut away the way I would cut away a, a you know, engraving. Fantastic work doing these pictures. Really enjoyed it, and I can't wait for it to be published. It'd be great to see it, especially big. I've never done a big book before. That'd be brilliant.